Hey brothers and sisters, um, I'm hoping that this video uploads. I seem to have issues uploading from this um, this phone. Um, amazing thing happened this weekend. My husband gave his life to Christ. I took three days off from work. There was an incredible moving of the Holy Spirit. Um, my husband was afflicted. When I say afflicted, he was afflicted with... Um, demons, literal demons. God was showing him the affliction because he was ignoring, he was, he was so much into the world, he was ignoring the pain that I went through with my two kids. He didn't mean to, but he was just in the world. So God had him felt what I felt and what my two sons felt. And then we confessed our sins like every secret we had. And it made us closer as a family because the secrets are out. And it made us find Christ. I mean, when the Bible talks about, it made us come closer to Christ. When the Bible talks about how, um, you know how when you're in sin, that your land, your territory is accursed. And you could tell. When we gave our, when we laid it all on the line for Christ. We gave our hearts, everything. My husband gave his life to Christ. Everything. The next day our land smelled like fruit and lavender. I mean, even the grass was greener. Everything was different. I prayed to God to give my to have my husband give his life to Christ, and he did. My husband woke up, he sees things differently. Look, I'm gonna tell you this guy something. When the enemy knows that you're awake. You see things differently with different sets of eyes. The enemy will target you. That's one. Two, he's, develop, he's developing discernment fast. Because God warned us that the enemy was going to target us and my family. I already put out a video to my family that they're in danger. Demons are real, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a joke. It's not something to be played with. It's not something to mess around with. Um, you guys, God sees everything. Like Everything is brought to light. My husband's secrets, my secrets, everything is brought to light. And one of the things you got to do is forgive even the most difficult things. I did. I forgave my husband. He forgave me. And, um, you just, you just got to know that if you have some deep, dark secrets, you're never going to be right with Christ. No matter how right you think you are. This is to you self-righteous Christians, and I say this in a loving manner. Get your hearts right with God, and get it right quick. Okay? I'm saying this because you think your walk's perfect, but it's not. You got some secrets in your closet. God's telling you to give it to Him. He's telling you to give it to Him. Those of you that are refusing correction, you're, you think you're right, you're not. Please, you're not doing God's work. You're not, you think you're pleasing Christ, but you're not. You're not pleasing Christ. He's going to tell you, get thee behind me, Satan, because you're falling short of the glory of God. Guys, when I tell you it is worth it, no matter how difficult it is to tell your spouse, to tell your loved ones, your secrets, no matter how many people you hurt, God will forgive you. And it's up to those people to forgive you. God will forgive you. And I can promise you, with permission from God, that you will have blessings. It feels so good to just get the truth out and not being able to keep secrets for so long. He sees everything. And he will bring it to light whether you like it or not. Please, if you're doing something behind your spouse's back, your child, your mother, your father, your brother, your sisters, or something you did that was so wrong. God understands. He will forgive you. 
Just remember, don't blaspheme the Holy Spirit. Don't commit Hebrews. Uh, I'm sorry, willful sin, like it says in Hebrews 10 26. Take some time, three days. Confess those sins, and you will see an outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon your home, upon your lives. Please. The enemy is very real. This is not a joke. My husband felt, my husband was under God's judgment, literally. I was afflicted with demons inside. It's not late, fun, ladies and gentlemen. They wreak havoc on your body. The stories you hear are true. What happened to that lady in Indiana when they said that she was possessed? That is true. Demons exist just like angels exist. I saw Gabriel in my house. Jesus Christ, I saw him face to face too. So did my husband when he gave his life to Christ. Please believe that we are in the last days, that the Lord is coming. Please. There are false prophets on YouTube. Please be careful. God did not send them. There's exposure videos I've done on them. All the people have done on them. They appear Christ-like, but they're not. They're tools of Satan. I hate to say that, ladies and gentlemen. God has woken me up. He's woken my husband up. He's woken my kids up. He's warned my husband that if he backslides again, he was going to face affliction for 40 days. I was there. I hear God's voice more audibly. Please, don't dismiss what I'm saying. You are in great danger if you're not giving your life to Christ because the enemy's targeting you. I was directed by God to warn my family, and now I'm warning you. Please, tell him your darkest secrets so you can be truly covered by the blood of Jesus. There's only a small number that did what I did. Very small. The majority of self-righteous Christians, please believe me, Take this to the Lord in prayer, first of all. Have secrets. They think their walk is right with, right, right with Christ. He knows what you do in the dark. He knows it's going to be brought to light. And when you come to Christ and say, Didn't I cast out devils? Didn't I clean or heal the sick? He's going to tell you, Get thee behind me, Satan, for we all fall short of the glory of God. I pray that the Lord Jesus Christ opens your eyes. Reveal what your secrets are because you do have them. I had them. You have them. You're committing sin. Rachel Sheriff, if you're watching this, please stop what you're doing. God did not send you. You're leading so many off the path. Please stop. Please learn to accept correction from those that are reaching out to you. He's shown me in the spirit that you've been warned by emails phone calls, text messages, Facebook, YouTube comments, everything. He's calling you to reap. Please stop. You're grieving the Holy Spirit. You think you're pleasing God, but you're not. You might want to take this to the Lord in prayer. But I believe you committed blasphemy against him. Against the Most High. Because you do not listen. You did not listen. You've been warned about. You've been plagued with an antichrist spirit. Religious spirit. Jezebel. Anger. Pride. The Holy Spirit has departed you. But it doesn't have to be that way for those that listen to you. To those that are listening to her, please stop. Please unsubscribe from her channel and seek Jesus Christ. That's all I have to say on the topic. There's many false prophets like that outside. We are not in the Feast of Trumpets. The pit did not open. Everything happens on God's appointed time. Please reveal your secrets to God. Please confess every sin you've had, no matter how vile they are. God will understand. It's better if you face whatever justice you have to face for a man than to face God come judgment day. If you did a, uh, if you committed a crime or whatever, a sin that was so vile. 
All right, guys, I'm at my job. You forgive God, you will notice the difference in your environment. He will bless you. This is personal experience talking. I'm asking you to take this to God in prayer. We are in the last days. You, you see people selling videos. Like if, they, if they're making videos about the end times. Seek Jesus because a lot of what you see is a lie. Don't believe what you see. It's a bigger. Those are, there's a bigger thing going on behind this. Ukraine. The Gaza Strip. In Israel. There's bigger stuff taken behind that. It's meant to keep you occupied so you're not prepared when stuff really hits the fan. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Okay, I gotta go, guys. I'm at my job. God bless.